Today you're hanging with the freshest players in rugby league. Let's see what's coming up on the show. What's your name? Sonny Bell Richie Maunga Lelisi Favai Jackson Arden. It's too long, that's too long. How am I supposed to remember that? You love Koala? Yeah. Koala? Look at the points to this team over here. Yes. Wow, you think he was Australian with a last name like that? Already here, like the sun before I, I burn up bright. We're all here in NZ for the Oceania Cup. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Please don't put your hands on your head. Right. We're all here in NZ for the Oceania Cup. And the best rugby league players in the world running it straight into your TV. Hey everyone, my name's Kevin Angama. I'm captain of the Fiji Bati team and we're keeping it fresh. It's pretty cool, eh? Hey? Um, seeing all, all the young kids turning out, seeing some of their favourite players in the NRL. I mean, regardless what team they support, there's a lot of smiles on the kids' faces, so... It sort of brings out the fans, they sort of see what the Tongan boys done to their, their side in the past couple of years, you know, if we can get some... More Pacific Islander team beating the Tier 1 Nations. We can really grow the game in that way, yeah. Nations definitely come out in numbers and, uh, you know, obviously shows today with, you know, with a lot of red and, and, and blue. You know, for the fan day, it just shows that the Pacific Islanders really uh, love their nation and, and their team. It is good that they've got that. And the Pacific Games happening for us and the mid-year tests that they've been throwing out. It's been good for all of our Pacific people. It's a chance to represent, you know, your family, your culture and all that. It's uh, good for, uh, you know, exposure of our game as well, I reckon. Oh, I think it's great for international footy and one of the reasons we are getting more tests is because the Pacific nations are playing a lot better, they're getting more football, so, you know, we're getting better players to play. Yeah, it's the first time I got to represent. I've never really got to experience uh, much of the Samoan culture, but I'm grateful I get to be here. My dad's part Samoan, part Māori. He was younger, he didn't really get to know his uh, father's side, which was the Samoan side. I think it's, uh, it's pretty cool though, cool opportunity uh, for me. at this moment that she knew. Hi. Okay. Where did you buy your flag? <laughs> you got all that flag for only two bucks? Yo! Great thing to be, to be here. Obviously, we got the win against the number one in the world. We made history today, and just want to thank all the support, all the time back home in Tonga. Look, it's a building process. Quite excited to build uh, for the future, and especially for the next World Cup. But uh, big occasion, not only for uh, Tonga itself, but uh, all of have done. Uh, anything is possible, but not only for Tonga players, but for all the Pacific teams. Don't go anywhere first, is plenty more people here suffer the break.
Long the Muscles, our pre-game team. And who do we have here? Uh, th this is John. He's the new kid at our school. Oh. Have you two been kissing? What? No? Welcome back to Fresh. Today we're all about Pacific Rugby League. This is Fiji Bati and this is our world. Coming into camp, I feel like in all most of the Pacific camps, it's just a kind of a brotherhood that we all just kind of get together. We've been in previous camps together, so there's no kind of you know, unfamiliar faces, and everyone just kind of gets on. It's a massive laugh throughout the week, but at the same time, like we've got a job at hand, and we all we see when we can kind of kick back, and then when the, you know it's time to do a job type thing. Our goals were we're focusing on the 2021 World Cup. Previous campaigns, the last three World Cups, we've been semi-finalists and our goal as a team moving forward is to win it. Been so close, but with the, all these games, uh, which we're just trying to build and continue to learn and, and be better. So when we come 2021, we're ready to go. And the more caliber of players we have, luxury to choose from, which we never had in the past, is, it really is putting us in good stead moving forward. Regular test matches as well is only going to help our cause moving forward. We saw Tonga pioneering that and how successful they've been knocking off England, New Zealand and Australia. And obviously the Pacific Islands want to continue to follow in their footsteps as well. Who's the freshest player in our team? Marcus Siva. Why? It's just, it's just, just everything he does, he's just, oh, I don't know. It's more so just, just, I don't know, I'm rattled now. <laughs> Got him! Got him! <laughs> Go Michael Silva as well. Why? Because he's just a local boy from Fiji. When he tries to speak, it's still sort of broken English. He's still learning English. Don't go anywhere for us. There's plenty more big hits after the break. For us, it's pretty funny and it brings um, our culture too from Fiji. Who's the best Fiji in rugby league player? Petro Sevenesiva. He's been... I think an iconic figure for Fijian rugby league, but just a Fijian figure in general. You know, just a real gentleman of the game. He accomplished high feats in the greatest honour that you can ever with origin, test matches, grand finals. And, you know, for me, it was definitely up there for one of the best rugby league memories, playing alongside him in the 2013 World Cup and what he's done behind the scenes ever since then to push this Fiji team to be a part of this now Ron Massey competition next year. Someone that I've always held in high esteem and still do. Yes. yes. Who has the best dance moves in the team? I would say <clears throat> Kane, Kane Evans. Just for a tall, lanky guy, like he can move and it just looks awkward sometimes, but he knows that. Junior, do you have any pregram? Pre Graham. <laughs> Before we do play, we do say a big prayer as a team, but I individually just take myself aside and just have a quick little prayer just to ask for protection um, over myself, but, but, on it, but also like my teammates and the team we're playing against. Nongu is our pre-game team. Obviously, it's a, a bit different from the other Pacific Islands with their, their war dances before the game, but for us, it's something that Moving forward, we wanted to dedicate this squad to God and this team and this nation, and that's why we changed. For us, it's deeper. It's deeper than like friends. It's a deep-spirited friendship that we have. Honda. Lalo. Anakupai. Sulu. Lobo. Copycat. Wow, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was doing me. Oh, 
That's how you catch it, because you've got a flat nose anyway. Oh, well, all the funnies. Just makes me want to shove this crutch right up your... Well, well, well. What do we have here? Hey, Devo. Hey, hey Devo. <laughs> Why you got to stuck like a little girl for, eh? <clears throat> oh, that's just my voice, because it hasn't cracked yet. My dad left, and my mum just said that it should be coming. Shut up! Crutches. You see what I did there? Yes, sir. You used a play on words, otherwise known as a pun, to belittle him. It was most excellent. <gasps> and who do we have here? Uh, th this is John. He's the new kid at our school. Oh. Have you two been kissing? What? Oh, no? I have nothing against the rainbow community, OK? And no, we haven't been kissing, Devo. Oh. Then how come he's got a lipstick all over his mouth? Well, right. Oh, well. yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed this. Now, weren't you supposed to be doing my homework yesterday? I, I did. One question, yeah? B for Bumblebee. See, that's the thing. You could have used all these other words. BMW, Bollywood, Brabalams. But no. You tried to make me look stupid. No, I, I didn't. Honestly, I didn't. Oh, oh man. Wedgie time. Wedgie time. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. 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 What the? Oh, that's my teddy bear. Man, I've been looking for that for ages. Oh, shut your mouth, you sicko. Oh, time for bum no. sucky <laughs> laugh. Let him go, man. Let him go. Don't worry, lover boy. You're gonna be next. Say my name and let my powers flow through you. What's your name? Sunny Bell Richie Maunga Lelisi Favai Jackson Arden. It's too long. That's too long. How am I supposed to remember that? Did you have a nickname? All right. Just say. Sha Jake the Mus Sam! <laughs> Sha Jake the Mus Sam! <gasps> what the hell? Well, I tried as hard as I can just to make you understand. Who the hell are you? I've got a lot of names, but you can call me. Wait, you man. I promise I'll never bully again. Please leave my undies alone, Super Jack the Must Man. Well, I try. Time for a quick break. Make sure you come back because we've got the fresh funnies for you. What was the initials for the Tongan Rugby League team? MMT. That's correct, MMT! <laughs> wow, we go. You just like hugging each other. Okay! <laughs> Yes, Fresh fam, we've seen how fresh our PI League players are. Time to find out who our next fresh. Wow! <laughs> Time to find out how fresh these next guys are. Kia Tato. Hey, it's uh, Uncle Sam here, your host for How Fresh Are You? Yeah, all right! Woo! On my left here, we've got the man himself, Ruben, and the winner of Know Your Roots, Grace. Yeah! Woo! 
So, guys, what's the name of your team for today? Uh, we are Team Deutz. Oh. Team Deutz? Oh, Deutz, yeah, Deutz. Oh. Here on my other right, we have Philly and the beautiful Bianca. All right. Ah, oh, it's going to be good today. So, what's the name of your team, guys? Uh, the winning team today is called Team... Oh, team... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, let's give it up for Team... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Our first game for today is what we call the rapid fire. Okay, let's go with our first question for today. Which one of these is a traditional Tongan dance? A, is it the laka haka? B, is it the laka laka? Or C, is it the kapa haka? B. B, the laka laka? Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> As a Tongan, you should probably know this. <laughs> Are you going to go with that one? What do you reckon? B? Are you good with that? Yeah. Yeah, I bet my team. Yes, sir. Uh, correct. The B. It's a laga laga. Yeah. All right. OK, our next question here is a very historical one for New Zealand. Who was the Maori chief that chopped down the Brit Yes. Honeheke. Honeheke. Correct. Let's give it up for Team Duit. Yeah. Duit. All right. Name two films directed by Stallone, by Aonga Yowasa. Yes. Take Home Pay. Take Home Pay. That's one. Very Wise Hibiscus Cousin. Oh. Very Wise Ruthless. <laughs> yeah, very, very. What's that one? Hibiscus Ruthless. Yes, Hibiscus and Ruthless. And for a bonus point, what's the third movie? Uh, Three Wise Cousins. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, well done. Congratulations. This guy's team. Where can you find Te Upoko Te Ika in New Zealand? Is it Te Upoko? Wellies? Yeah, Wellington. Yeah, That's correct, Wellington. Te Upoko Te is the head yes. of the fish. I said Te Upoko and Grace said the stomach. <laughs> okay, guys, guys, you ready? This is for a bonus last question of rapid fire. What was the initials for the Tongan rugby league team? Yes. Team. I was buzzing for you. What was the initials for the Tongan Rugby League team? MMT. That's correct, yeah. MMT. <laughs> wow, we go. You just like hugging each other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now one of my favorite games, the voice. This is the voice. Okay, everybody. Now it's for our game, the voice, where these guys have to guess who the famous New Zealander owns this voice. OK, our first voice is a very famous New Zealander who is currently overseas. Oh, I started at my school at uh, Tangaro College. Um, we didn't have drama in school. We, I don't think our school could afford it, having a drama department. Is it Terrell Toffer? Ooh, very close, very close. They know each other, but that's about it. OK, what about you? <laughs> yeah, well, you say, right. You say it. <laughs> Uh, is it Beulah Koala? 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 Koala! Koala! Yeah. Oh, yeah. my fans! Yes, yeah. yeah, we give the points to this team over here. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Wow, you think he was Australian with a last name like that? OK, here we go for our second voice. And the second voice is someone who is also very famous, but currently overseas. Let's hear and see if you know who this famous New Zealand is. Just about to surprise mum and dad. They have no idea I'm here. I'm pulling up now. I see dad on the porch. He saw his dad on the porch. Who saw his dad on the porch? There's a clue there. On the porch? Who saw his dad on the porch? Have a go. You never know. You might get it wrong like last time. Um... <laughs> Seven Reese. Okay, no, very wrong. <laughs> Seven wrong. <laughs> okay, you guys, team. Who do you think? He is in the drama. He's a drama person. Drama or in drama? Drama like acting. Okay. Yeah. We are going to let's hear the voice and see if you know who it is from Seven Reese. When I went for the part and I read the uh, the, the character breakdown. Team, do it.
Robbie Magasiva. Oh, there you have it, Robbie Magasiva. <laughs> he was the one that saw his stand on the ball. Yes, yes. There you have it. That's our uh, that's our game for today. But before we head off, we want to give these amazing prizes. Thank you to Sweet and me, some great vouchers, and also these awesome T-shirts here. Beautiful Bianca, and beautiful Philly. <laughs> there you have it, team. Our winners, yeah. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Oh, nice. And that's it. We hope to see you same time next week on How Fresh Are You? Yeah! All right! Yeah! Woohoo! Call up my name, my name, my name. Call up my name. Seth, that's us for the week, gang. Big little love to the fans for your support. And keep supporting Pacific Rugby League. More than one Talo for Lava Freshies, welcome to Samoa. We are at the Tatao Festival Samoa 2019. The masters of Inca here, as well as some up and coming Tatao artists. Drawing in people from all over the world. So can we do this Samoa?